Hi guys, you get to here. And I think we're very close to get our ascendancy. <clears throat> so let's do that. Where are we? We have the Infernal Talc from Tiala from Solaris Temple. Now we have to go to the sewers again. Because there is some I'm not gonna say anything, but something is blocking the way y'all can decide what the hell this is anyways we broke it new crafting recipe physical damage all right and now we're going to rush we're already level 30 th 31 we are going to rush all the uh, the last um, trial and then we are going to do the labyrinth a lot of people don't like the labyrinth i'm fine with the labyrinth um there were two leagues where this was my end game money making strategy because not only do you get your ascendancy from the end of the labyrinth you also get a chance that you can only well okay it's path of exile not only get there but that's sort of the main source i just clicked here be the gardens okay so you just go this way waypoint is here and um now you there are two ways you can go you can either go top left or bottom right um you want to find the door here do you yeah sure we can do that too okay library easy you in my opinion want to hug the top wall once you join okay easy waypoint and here is siosa a ghost that wants you to find four items papers i think pages um again hug the top wall in my opinion and this next thing you want to find is actually a bit hard to see it's a candle on the wall that opens a hidden way ah i found it okay easy i'm very lucky with the layout here i think um wait this doesn't give me anything but you know what i'm gonna keep it for the um, gas speed for now that's fine um yeah loose candle boom door opened easy we go in we're not doing crucible at the moment i don't care and again just hug a wall doesn't matter and you want to find four pages once you have the four pages because siosa has uh waypoint close to him you can log out again saving another portal scroll by the way you can sell portal scrolls uh, and you just get wisdom scrolls back uh, in this zone there is trinian the intellectus prime as the zone boss he does some tornadoes but overall i don't think he's very strong but i do have to say the build is pretty busted so yeah Anyways, if you want to leak start this, go ahead. I really hope uh, the build doesn't get nerfed. SRS. Necro is just amazing. Okay, here is our first exc exclamation mark. First page. We continue. Second page. Strongbox. We want to open the strongbox. We like to click things. We like loot. Strong box. What do we find? Alteration, transmutation, sure, I'll take it. Second golden page. Gloves. Thank you. Uh, maybe there is a page up here nope doesn't look like it uh, the skeletons here in the area hit very very hard 
Be careful. They're slow. Big wind up. My god. My SRS are popping off, literally. That's three. Got the last one. Nice. Got the space. Test? Nope. Okay. We got them all. And what do we get from it? We get almost all skill gems that are in the game from him. Yes. I'm selling as a caster, I can sell all my armor scraps and my blacksmith sweat stones. Oh god that name. We do that. Fifteen. Am I trading? No, I'm not. Nope. Yeah, holy moly. Suffix, suffix, suffix. I think we can talk about items at one point as well. See you. We should. We need to. It's PoE. Alright. So. Library. He gives you one gem for free. Sadly, it's limited what you get. And we are grabbing fire penetration. Uh, but we want more. And one very annoying thing. Thank you, GG, for coloring those, finally. Is we want to get Feeding Frenzy. Um, and we need an Orb of Chance for that. So sadly, we need to either go back to town or to our hideout. Um, get our Orb of Chance, which we don't. Ah. Luckily, you can buy orbs from the vendor. I forgot Watch what yourself. I need to buy an orb of chance. An orb of fusing. Watch yourself. In order. <laughs> okay, shit. We're going down the rabbit hole, guys. In order to buy an orb of fusing, yes. you need to have four jeweler's orbs. In order to buy a jeweler's orbs, orb, you need two alterations. Here we go. You, you, you can hold control and left click the item and then it automatically buys it for you. You don't have to drag it like this. Okay, so we have four. Wait. Yeah. Now we buy the one fusing. Now we buy the one Be chaos. Uh, no, uh, chance. Thank you. So, library. Fire pen. Thank you. Dalamuana. Dalamuana. Feeding frenzy. So our zombies are Remember, going ape shit now. That's what we want. We love ape shit zombies. Um, yeah. Back to our original plan, which is labyrinth. Let's go. How oh, how are our resistances? Seventy one fire out of the seventy five. 75 cold, easy, and 44 lightning. Uh, zero, zero chaos stress. Chaos stress will uh, be important later. A lot of stuff um, in the game nowadays to kill you with uh, chaos damage. Um, this could be scary, especially if you're panicking. An emperor must know precisely hmm. where he stands. I need to do uh, Chamber of Sins. That's my last one I'm missing. If you guys have missed where the Trials are, Act 1 has 1, Act 2 has 2, Act 3 has 3. Act 1, it's in the prison, Act 2 is in Chamber of Sins and Crypt, Act 3 is in the crematorium, the marketplace has the catacombs, the second one, the third one we just did in the Imperial Gardens. So, we want Chamber of Sins. Oh. There we go. The trials are very, very easy. Uh, you need to go to level 2. Very important. Um, yeah. I'm not entirely sure. I think it's sort of like left side ish where they are. Okay. 
could still be. No, thank you. That's a trap. When I'm ready and not before. Yes, yes. Okay, this looks good. Yep, we got it. Okay, easy one. Don't the chainsaws. Don't run with them, and you're fine. All right, last one. And now we go into the labyrinth. Easy money. I love this. You stand before the gates of the Lord's so, labyrinth. Within that's a long text. Walls, the Lady of Justice, Dark like this. The Boom. Is Here we watching. go. Now, where do we go in the labyrinth? Because, you know, it's labyrinth. We want to hug the top wall here, sort of, and we want to go to basically like 12 o'clock. Uh, wanna stay hugged to the top wall, sort of, like it's 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock, you know. Um, just look where I'm going and follow this. You will become uh, familiar with the layout if you ran it a couple times. But yeah, here it goes. And we are at the first trial. Um, Izaro oh, is very deadly. The weary traveler draws close Crafting to the recipe. The path. So, be careful. That never be His attacks are very... I forgot the word. You can see whatever the, the hell he's doing. Uh, be careful. If you have things that taunt, then... You, it's hard to know where he's gonna do his attacks. So, yeah, just FYI. There, he does a big slam. He has three different types of weapons. Pity the emperor who sits alone on his throne. And depending on the weapon types, he does different attacks. Uh, this time he had the big ass mace. I think this is his weakest weapon you can have because he's very slow. He does hit hard, but you shouldn't get hit by it. It's very obvious where he's going to attack. So, we killed him, but he's not dead. What the hell? You need to kill Izaro three times, basically. You need to defeat him three times. Um, yeah, and on the third one, he's going to die. Then you can go into the last room, and then you can ascend. We will do that. Portal scroll? You read that? Oh, sorry guys. It's kind of late. Ah, okay. We missed our chance. I could make another way now, by the way. Uh, you can check here every time you're at the door. At a door, you can check the current location. Um, I'm going to take the path where there's one more thing, but that's fine. Um, it's basically the same speed as if you would find the short way. So it doesn't matter at the end. Just go for it. Oh. Thank you. I should have quite a bit of Cast speed more, so I can cast Master S faster. Okay, here's the second trial. Same stuff when again. Don't die. To strike, an emperor strikes without hesitation. An emperor is only as efficient as those he commands. Mm -mm -mm. And I think in this video I'm also going to finish the Act 3. Okay, here he has Violence his lieutenants. Delicate. Be careful. They can enter as well. The best tactic for you to do is run in circles. Uh, again, on this build it's very easy, this fight, as you can see. Such resilience. And he's dead. But careful, he can still do attacks. 
He's going to zone. Any time now. Any time now. Now. When he come, uh, becomes invincible. Okay. And one more time, we need to kill Izaro. As far as I remember, on the first labyrinth, in the last part now, now that you already defeated him two times, there's always this fire trap. Be careful. You can degenerate and die from this. So just wait until the steel isn't burning hot anymore. Here are also some poison spike traps. You can uh, jump on here. And I think you're done with this. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna do some mildly risky stuff, but it's okay. Whoa. And we're fine. Okay, here's another trap. It's a labyrinth. Uh, Izaro or whoever wants us dead. Not too familiar with the lore. Um, yeah, and again. Go sort of like 12 o'clock, 11 o'clock. It's always going to be a winning recipe. So, is this the last way? Yep. We need to do one more room either way, so it doesn't matter. And... Man, my witch looks awesome. With the no MTX stuff. But yeah, I'm not going to pay anything for this game on this account. And we'll see what will happen. On my main account, I have over 10,000 hours in PoE. And spend, yeah, probably easily over 1000 euros now okay trial last trial now he can actually an die aspirant can afford to be promising an emperor must keep the empire awaits you with open jaws there he is careful you <laughs> i've gotten insta gibbed a lot Make your mark. uh standing being ready for him so be careful. Big slam. Oh, some barrage. You are there free. he is. Drop a lot of stuff. Too much clutter. But you could collect it all. Before you also get the treasure key. You can open Before one of those. Of justice, you are worthy. Very important. Rush to the altar. Our gifts there we go. And rise Necromancer. Is the the that we all mm. What do we want? So, for a league start, Commander of Darkness is always very, very, very strong. You get 30% elemental resistances, damage, flat out, and some attack speed. Um, what am I doing? What am I getting? Mm. Yeah, honestly, let's do that. Let's go Command of Darkness. It's great node. Boom. Pretty much res capped. Alright, that's our ascendancy. Amazing. Hello. Sell our stuff. And we continue. We want to finish this act. How do we do this? Not to go to the library. We need to go back to the Ebony Barracks. And we need to go to the Lunaris Temple. There's one more guy that is in our way. Well, multiple overall. And that guy is Gravisius. Pretty hard fight for most builds, most slaughter builds. 
you can skip him. It's not necessary to do him, especially if you've done the library. You can buy because once you finish this, um, the the town vendors will give you more skill gems. You wanted me burned back in Orient, okay. Crevisius. That wasn't very nice. Crevisius dead. Lunaris Temple. Elemental Ages. Oh. Okay. Alright. Easy money here. Just follow straight the red carpet. They laid it out for us. Easy money. And then here at the end, lucky, it's a 50-50 where you go. Here is Brutus' brother, so to say. He does the same attacks and he is uh, scary as well. His name is Cole. Uh, you can ignore him, you can skip him, of course. Um, yeah. Sometimes a weird layout. Just try. Oh, waypoint. Okay. This one also has a temple level 2, just like um, you need a master knight. Solaris. Be careful, those are the very famous titty bitches. Uh, yeah, that's gonna say. Um, if you stand still, they aim at you, they do their machine gun, you could die. So, be ready to sidestep. Uh, okay, this was a dead end. Beware of the titty bitches. I wonder who coined that term. Okay, it's completely dead end, that was very unlucky. to go to uh, like upstairs every time you see upstairs and Lunaris temple level 2 you want to do that let's go hmm not sure where to go more titty bitches Up here it's a 50-50 where it is. I always run into the one path where it's not. Of course. So, you can skip a lot in this area by using movement skill. Soon, i will show you. Big door. If you see that big door, you're on the right way. Okay, skip. Beware the titty bitches. And we're very, very close. This is a crazy place. We're very close to piety. Also a tough fight if you don't max your lightning. Really? All resistances uh, yeah, here, and yeah, you need some damage. That fight can get real nasty. There's also a crafting recipe. We can pick that up first. Of all the worlds you could have conquered, you had to choose mine. There are circles on the ground. She wants to go in there, and then she transforms into that element. But no problem for the Acer S build. 
Damn, Damn boy. You. Easy. She got wrecked. I loved your work, Piety. It was you I wasn't very fond of. Make sure you grab the skill point. Be careful. From Grigor. You, Piety. You do need the key, very important too. Oh, oops. Tread carefully, exile. What am I gonna do with the skill point now? Honestly, fifteen percent damage is fine. That would just make mm. life complicated. Okay, and last step in Act Three. Go from the Imperial Garden, sort of to the bottom right, top right ish. Here we go. Yep. If you see this wagon, turn the right way. From here, you go top, and we are at the Scepter of God. This used to be the end game of PoE, really. Dominus. I remember watching the scene. What goes up must come down. Getting Dominus. Long time ago. Okay. Here you just really, again, you can just hug the outside wall. Um, not too familiar with the layouts here. I'll try. But outside walls are totally fine. And here is the door. You have to climb up the tower. It takes multiple uh, levels. No problem. Thank you for the fusing. I can buy another orb of chance for that. Here is the next door. The next stairs. Sorry. Okay. Oh, by the way. Here is where you unlock the Scion. I totally forgot. I'm not sure if she is being experimented on. I think she is. But yeah. Oh man, look at my HP. 666. Damn, that's perfect for a Necromancer. I don't want to ever get more HP again. Damn, that's badass. Okay. Here's the next stairs, and I think now, to sure, upper. So yeah, Sion is trapped somewhere here, we want to save her, and from there on out we could play her, which we won't do. Another fusing. Where the hell is the Scion? She's in some sort of contraption. Honestly, if I miss her, I don't mind. I'm not going to plan on playing her. Ah, there it is, there it is! Nice! Hello! Hello, Scion! <laughs> the zombie's greeting her, nice. Though we were worlds apart before, Exile has brought us together. Yes, yes. Freedom! This is America now. America! Alright, and here is the tower rooftop. Actually, a tough boss fight. So multiple phases. And yeah. So, first phase. A lot of guards. Strong here. guards. Which? They are fighting you. Not the boss. He's like, nah. Fight my yes men. And again, on this build, everything is super easy. Have hey. you ever seen the true face of God? Excellent. Now we fight Dominus. He has a big slam. That's not the one. That's not the one. Okay, we're not gonna see it. I'm sorry. This world Second phase. 
Legendary quote. This world is an illusion exile. Uh, the skill point. Uh, I think we're going up here and grabbing this. Alright. This guy does a nasty bleed. But no problem for us. He is dead. And we completed Act 3. And that's it for this video. I'll see you guys on the next. Make sure to subscribe if you like it. If you have any content you want to see. We still have some time before the launch of the next league. Let me know. See ya.